I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and Other Home Energies. Right where you see the sun reflecting, as you can see, that's how far I shove this other can inside the other one. And it's, all, it's been about five days. Pressure's still on it from compressing it. Can't pull them apart to put a displacer in it to make a Sterling engine, so we're going to pull it apart another way. Right here I have a Fresnel lens that uh, I got from Green Power Science. The wood, the blonde woodwork was what Dan did, along with the uh, Fresnel lens. Uh, I've got it melting some aluminum over here. I'm going to put this in the beam over there and Since watch I it. I can't go get through. it apart by hand without denting it. This seems to be the best way. That ought to do it. It'll either put a hole in it or it'll come apart. The air inside is now building heat. At this point, I'm afraid to move it. Uh huh. Hey! Well, it came apart. Um, <laughs> don't think it's reusable. Well, I don't know if I messed up. But anyway, this piece was 18 feet away. Uh, I'm sorry, 18 yards away. This one was about seven or eight. Shoved it back together. Just for the giggles of doing it again. Something to hold it, right? Doesn't matter if it's a different direction. One more time. Kaboom! And you see the very end is flat. And it's not very aerodynamic. That's a lot of force. I pushed that together with my hands. Both hands pushing pretty hard and it still had enough pressure to make it go boom. 18 feet away for something that light against the resistance of the wind, I say it had a lot of pressure under it. That's what powers these Stirling engines. We're gonna get into a solar powered Stirling engines here pretty quick in our uh, channel and I hope you enjoy. Once you put this in there, I would not try to move it. I imagine it it make your fingers sting a few days or it just might hurt them. Oh! <laughs> Gotta love it. There we go. Now this part here, it looked like uh, either got some aluminum off another one or it melted part of this one. I think that's aluminum off another piece down there. Anyway, I didn't get quite the distance out of them this time. I'm going to shove them together and we'll stick them back on there again. <clears throat> Gotta be careful. This edge, if this thing rips, comes down and cuts you. you kind of put your arms against your side so you don't go too far. I'm gonna try heating it on the side a little bit this time. It's gonna go boom, Mama. <laughs> Is that what's going boom out here? Yeah, watch. It's gonna take off. I compressed it good this time. Shot it way over there. Any minute now. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's gonna explode. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> Keeps building the side of it. <laughs> Kaboomy. Come on now. Boom! Good idea to wear safety goggles while this is going on. Might have lost pressure, but I'm gonna wait. Well, I don't think I can use this can again. Should have left the uh, beam on the very end of the can where the aluminum is thick. I think it may have lost its pressure. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, another home in. Okay, well here's what it did to the can. It stretched this side almost into a perfect bubble. I wonder if it's parabolic. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if I can peel that off. That's aluminum from one of the other cans. Okay, I moved the camera for another angle. See how long it takes to put a hole in this one. It shouldn't take that long burning that paper up. I see light inside the can already. It's already burned a hole through. It didn't take that long.